remaining far more than his. He wasn't playing much defense either, it seemed like, towards the end. Not because I knew this guy was worn down. I'm landing some good body shots, great facial shots, boss, and uh, just hurting him, you know, hurting him, hurting him. He couldn't do too much. You know, it wasn't too much he could do, especially at 273 pounds. Oh. You know, you keep bringing these big guys to me, and I'm gonna keep showing you, size does not matter. Richard Dyer Kennedy right here. The next big fight for the Cunningham family is obviously yeah. for her. Uh, what are your feelings about what the next couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, are going to look like? I mean, just rest, man. I mean, we got we got, we got got two victories here. Steve Jr. won his tournament, the Lucian Blackwell tournament, last weekend. It was my job to win my fight tonight. Now we got to all get together and, and help Kennedy win this fight. Thanks, Steve. Best of luck to you. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Steve Cunningham. Steve USS Cunningham is still... Um, in my opinion, he's a top 20 heavyweight. Right now, it's crazy. 4.53 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I just did a Google Hangout. And um, the last fight I'm covering for the night, Steve Cunningham versus Natu Vasania. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm sorry. Long story short, he's this guy who's about 6'3", 278 pounds. Steve Cunningham, 203 pounds. So you got this guy who outweighs him by 75 pounds. If you don't know, Steve Cunningham is a former cruiserweight. Notable fights against Marco Huck. I forgot to do um, initials KW. Um, Jan Pablo Hernandez, two fights. Tomas Adamick, twice. Tyson Fury. You know, and a couple other credible names. But we'll have more when we come back. But in this fight, what you saw was you saw him take some shots for one he shouldn't have been taken. But he did fight an undefeated fighter. He's now 10 and 1 with 7 KOs. But meaning um the fighter he fought. But I'm trying I'm trying to figure out like what would be big fights or good fights for him. Now in his last two fights, he beat this guy, the Lemire Mansour. Um he's on the three fight winning streak since being stopped by um Tyson Fury in the seventh round. Uh, before that, who did he lose to? I believe it was Tomas Tomas Adamick he lost to before that. But now in the heavyweight division, I'm thinking like, okay, all right, well, what do you send him? And you know what I thought about? I thought about what if Eddie Hearn wants to take a gamble and say, let's call up Steve Cunningham for Anthony Joshua. You know? Or, you know, maybe if Derek Chisora lose, throw him at a Derek Chisora. You know, it's um, Bryant Jennings. You know, there, that, there, there you go. Steve Cunningham, Brian Jennings, and Philadelphia or AC. How's that sound? That sounds pretty good to me. That seems like a good route for him to go. You know, maybe your Chris Ariola. He's not going to get a Deontay Wilder because of the title shot. I don't know. But overall... Sixth round was when the fight changed. The first couple of rounds, I'm thinking like, oh, why would Steve Cunningham take a fight like this? The guy was undefeated, 10 and 0 with seven knockouts, and also he's 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 270 plus pounds, and he hits hard. So I'm seeing him landing some vicious shots on um on uh, Steve Cunningham because Cunningham wasn't moving enough. The head movement was there, but still, I'm thinking like all it takes is one shot, and Steve is out of there. Long story short, it wasn't about it wasn't until about the fifth or sixth round where I started feeling comfortable that oh Steve's gonna win this fight. Because um he did this crazy combination where um Vicinia dropped his hands and just took like boom, 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 three, you know, three, four straight punches straight to the face. And then that's when you saw Steve starting to open up. Because I was saying rounds four and probably five, I'm thinking, wait a minute, why is Steve laying on the ropes is he slowing down. I'm thinking you're a heavyweight, but you're a small heavyweight, 203, 205 pounds. So I'm thinking like, oh man, you know, Steve's gonna slow down and do something stupid and get knocked out almost like he did with Tyson Fury. But instead, in this fight, you saw that that Vicinius slowed down much more than he did. And also Vicinius shots just wasn't hurting. Now, if you saw the shots that he was taking against um Amir Mansour, then you thinking like, okay, well. You gotta be, you gotta have some power to be able to hurt this guy. Mansour got the prison physique. But, you know, if you don't know, I'm T Street Controversy. T Street Controversy Live. I'm from Philly. I cover every single major fight live, no matter what. 24 hour boxing news. Like I said, 4 57 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I cover every single 
Major Fight Live, HBO 24 7, Showtime All Access. Subscribe. T Street Controversy, T Street Controversy Love.